I'm going to be demonstrating some hand health, some things I have learned over the years, mainly from um, hand therapists, because I have been playing the cello for over 50 years, and um, I've been making jewelry for almost 20, and I did a lot of cross-stitching and a lot of needlework, like a lot of people. We do crafting, we use our hands. And um, about maybe six, seven years ago, I started developing um, some issues with my joints. Um, I think it came when I started teaching violin, which actually would have been over 10 years ago. And um, I played the vi I had played the violin off and on, my main instrument's cello. But when I started teaching it, I found myself doing things that aggravated the joints of my fingers. They're, it's a lot tighter in position than the cello. And so I got, had a really bad flare up to the point where I couldn't play my cello, let alone the violin. And I had trouble doing jewelry making. So I went to a hand therapist and wow, did I learn a lot. And um, my hands have been a lot better ever since. And so um, I'm just gonna show you some like helpful hints on hand health, what to do um, to maybe do their few stretches I learned. And um, let me say up front, I am not a doctor. I am not a therapist. I am just an experiencer. I am someone who has experienced what happens to your hands when you overuse them. And that's what the bottom line is on this. Um, and so with that, I'll try not to say um so much. With that said, I will see you on the beating side. Now I'm going to show you what it is or how I, or one of the things I do, do to help alleviate the stress, stress of um, working with um, tools. Uh, if you can see I have what they call arthritic bumps. Again, I've been playing the cello for 50 plus years. I play guitar. I play the violin. I play a dulcimer. I've done lots of crafts, cross stitching, um, needlework, and then of course jewelry making. And it does take its toll on your hands. My thumbs actually didn't get this bad until I started texting on the phone. So beware folks, those of you who are younger, all the phone stuff you do, the texting and everything, is, is a nightmare on your hands. As a matter of fact, the hand therapist suspects that he'll be in business for many years to come. That's pretty sad. All right, so one of the things I do, and this is something my, my hand therapist said to do, and again, I am not an expert. I am just an experiencer. I'm one that has had this type of situation, and I've learned to adapt. Um, Here's a tool that I like to use. It's it's for like making um, spirals and or um, jump rings or um, doing different ends. I use the different ends to make the loops on the ends of my um, memory wire bracelets. All right. So so this tool, it's a basic tool, which a lot of you, especially when you're first starting out, you'll buy these. They're they're less expensive. They're still good but they're less expensive and they they have minimal padding and the amount of force you need to use to squeeze it especially if you're holding it it, it starts adding up it starts taking its toll and, and and making your hands um sore now now they do have tools out there like this one that and you'll notice i don't have anything on it i didn't add anything extra this is a gel grip and it also it what it does is it's fatter, it's softer, and what it does is it, it reduces the amount of, of pressure that you need to squeeze it close. So the fatter the grip, the less you have to, to um, compress it in order to get the tool, the point in or the tool to side to do what you need it to do. That's key. This one's small, this one's fatter. So what I've done and what I did with all my tools, even with the tools that have a fatter body, is I added um, some tape that you would find in a, like a pharmacy for like um, 
sports tape, you know, taping, uh, what's, say what, taping, oh my gosh, my mind went blank, sorry. So taping like ice packs on some of the sports people you see, they have ice packs on their shoulders that have been taped on. And that's what I started using. Now, what's interesting is, again, I've been doing this for quite a while. The first ones that I used, I used a different type of sports tape. It was this one that is more waffly. See how it's how it is. And it's really sticky and nasty now. This I'm gonna need to strip this down and then use um rubbing alcohol to get rid of it. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just is becoming a jumble mess. So um so yeah, it's kind of a waffly one. This one's really sticky, it's icky, and um and now my fingers are all sticky. Um I don't recommend you using this. Try to avoid this one. It again, it's the one that looks waffly. And, um, I like they use this when they, or the thinner version of this when I have my blood drawn or something, you know, and they wrap it on. So no, I would recommend not using this one. So I, I went out of picture. So the handle is smaller than most, some of the other ones I have. And that actually, the smaller the handle is, the more stress it goes on the hand too, I have found. So what I'm going to do is make, really fatten this up. And I'm going to fatten it up by just going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, you know, up and down like this and really focusing on the middle section like that okay and now i'm going to keep doing this but <laughs> and try to keep it in here sorry this is like only my third video all right so i'm going to try to keep it in here and and i'm just going to keep going and going until it gets fatter and i wanted to show you some different examples some of these are dirty well loved but as you can see now this one the the handle was a little fatter but not much so as you can see i just went over you know thinner on these ends but fatter more in the middle and that way it 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 ha it fits like right in my hand here nicely so that and, and the, I don't have to squeeze as hard or as far. So this actually reduces how far you have to squeeze when you have that added extra bulk. And it, it was told to, that my hand therapist had me do this to all my tools and it made a world of difference. My hands don't get tired as much as they did. And, um, and it was just such a nice, relief to not like get tired after 10 minutes of doing, um, you know, wire work with some of these hand tools. Okay. So I've been working on this. It's taking me about 10 minutes to do. I'm, I'm making sure that I wide some of the edges down flat. I could do one more uh, going around here flattening some of the edges. As you can see, compared to this side, um, it's a lot fatter. Just the way I like it. Here we go. Okay, put that down. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut it off because I, I want to try to finish it where it's on the inside. And that way, I, my hand will be on it minimally and it won't rip. <laughs> Yahoo, sorry for that ride. Um, so it won't rip up, you know, come off because of my use so much. Uh, I didn't do it as much as I wanted. There we go. So there we are. So now I'm going to, when I do the other side, I'm going to have it so that it's going to be super, I mean, I barely will have to squeeze this in order to get it to um, close all the way. And it already is feeling a lot better. And then if I, like, let's say I'm holding wire in here and working, it's it. I don't have to squeeze it as hard. And that's the key thing when doing wire work is, for me, is, is finding the amount of, 
tension you need in your hand in order to achieve your goal. And I'll talk more about that at another time. Anyways, this is my wonderful, it's not my idea, but this is the my technique on how to beef up the handles of my uh, tools. Um, they have really nice tools out there that have them. Like I said, the gel, the one with the gel, even these, these, these have a nice thicker handle. The problem is they're, they're a lot more expensive. Now, some of them I will get. I mean, if I have a coupon someplace and I go in, I'm really frugal. So <laughs> when I go in, I'm, I might indulge and buy something like that. Um, but I also have a lot of tools that I bought when I first started off and they were all this thinner handle and, and I'm, I hate getting rid of anything and buying new stuff and, you know, not using tools. So that's why I think this is like a great idea, especially for tools like this. I don't want to buy the super expensive one. No offense to anybody out there, but I don't want to buy the super expensive one that has a big thick handle if they even have them on this. And, you know, and then, and then only use it a few times. So this is especially for the tools that I don't use a lot. I getting one that does not have the beefed up handles. You know, this, this is the way I can do it. It's inexpensive. And, um, and some of these, these have lasted a lot, many, many years. I, I use them a lot and they've lasted many years. So except for the waffle and eh, on that, even though it's pretty pink. So, so good luck with that.